All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your brothers that are laboring and pushing this word and truth and sincerity and with charity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in GMS Chicago. Come to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing to be edifying. And uh, just want to do a lesson on uh, the recent Met Gala uh, that happened uh, a couple of days ago. Which is just, you know, a bunch of celebrities getting together. Um, pretty much like a fashion show. Alright, we're only the richest of all the rich of the world. Alright, uh, get to go. You know, and it's, uh, what I have here showing on the screen is Elon Musk's uh, tuxedo jacket that says Nuvos Ordos Seclorum, which is Latin for New World Order. Alright, and, uh, You know, his, uh, his recent, you know, news headlines is him buying Twitter. All right. And then, um, a lot of people in government had, um, you know, backlash, outrage by it, uh, thinking it was, it's uh, like a bad idea, you know. Um, because he says he's gonna make it free speech, um, and painting it as if, you know, he's for non-censorship and free speech and stuff like that, where really he's just a pawn, you know, he's just a, he's just a control puppet just as everybody else is but people aren't you know really paying attention to these kinds of things because there's so much distraction in the world okay and um you know the whole chris rockwell smith um then you got the johnny depp and amber heard thing and then even uh Americans and people in the world with their everyday life, you know, because obviously people are struggling right now. They, you know, with the inflation, shrinkflation, and which will ultimately go to stagflation and hyperinflation, you know, people aren't paying attention to the news. People aren't paying attention to what's going on. Okay, but, um, you know, people said that this guy was going to be, like, for the people and stuff like that. You know, this guy, you know, he's part of the system. He's part uh, of, uh, you know, the puppets that are, like, their main guys out here in the world. You know, the real main people are the ones behind the scenes. And those are the real rich of the world. The ones you don't know about. The ones you don't see on the news and on the TV. Alright. <clears throat> they portray people like this to be the richest uh, man or people in the world. When really they're not, man. Okay. Now, uh. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Psalms 49 and 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own name. And, you know, this is just the pride, okay, the pride and the haughtiness of their spirit, okay. That what that they shall continue forever, they think they're gonna be on top forever, okay. But the scriptures say that pride goeth before destruction, pride goeth before a fall, and that's exactly what's happening now, 
All right, their heart has been lifted up. Now they're about to get humbled, man. All right. And, uh, you know, part of their, part of their, uh, New World's Ordo Seclorum agenda is what? To microchip you. And guess what? Who's doing that? This man right here. Neuralink. A chip that's implanted in your skull. And it's what? It's, um, they paint it as a, as a, uh, miracle or a good, or a good deed to help people in need. People that, uh, can't walk, that have disabilities. Okay. This is the target people that they say it's for, right? For these people that have needs. Right, but we know ultimately we're not ignorant of Satan's divisive. We know that ultimately, what their goal, their end goal is to put a microchip in you. And even Aaron Russo said that. All right, they want to microchip you. All right, everything is going cash this dollar. Um, ain't got too much life left, as you can see. All right. Uh, there's this country is in so much debt, so much debt, and it's not this dollar is not backed by gold, by silver. It's not backed by anything. It's fiat currency. All right, and Biden keeps dumping money. All right, and spending more and more money, billions of dollars. Right, all those stimulus checks spent. Dumped into the economy. Not backed by anything. Biden sending so much. Uh, weapons and money. To Ukraine. More debt. More and more and more debt. Borrowing and borrowing and borrowing more money. Which is making what? The value of the dollar. Less and less and less. Alright. Things are aren't getting more expensive is the dollar of the value is the value of the dollar okay that's going down when it's ultimately if you look at what's happening in Venezuela they're going through a crazy financial crisis all right and you know America's headed towards that direction Okay, so what? They need an excuse to throw down the old system and an excuse to build their new system. Which is, that's what they want to do with their Nuvos Ordo Seclorum. Alright, it's Revelation 13 and 16. is that karagma that they want to put inside you so they control you, Right? I forgot who said that. You will own nothing and you will be happy. Alright, that's the end goal that they have for you. Alright, let's get uh, Psalm chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 1. This is, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves... And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Okay, so <clears throat> the mindset and the mentality is that what they shall continue forever. Alright, so they think they're gonna be on top forever, stay in that position forever. Alright, and then now you have <laughs> other countries as China, as Russia that think they're gonna be the next superpower. Of the world, okay, the next greatest thing of the world, but what this, this they're imagining a vain thing, okay. This is verse 4 He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill. Of Zion. 
So the Most High, you know, <laughs> he got other plans. <laughs> he got other plans. All right, the scriptures say that the seed and the deceiver are his. And he saw Edom has been deceived. All right, <laughs> just as he uh, hardened Pharaoh's heart and, you know, made him do whatever he wanted. You know, so is he doing the same with Esau Edom. All right, Esau Edom is destined to be destroyed, man. America is not destined to to continue forever, man. These words are faithful and true, and the prophecy is that this place, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed by nuclear fire. Okay. Now from there, let's get um, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Alright, so the Most High is always in control of everything. Alright, don't think for one second Esau Edom is uh, doing some, you know, um... By his own power. By his own might. Alright. The only reason he is in power. Is because the most high allowed it. He's the one that made him to rule over us. Alright. And he's not going to keep it like that. For That was for our punishment. For our admonishment. For our chastisement. Not for our destruction. All right, and the time of our iniquity is up. The time of our captivity is up. Affliction shall not arise a second time. All right, this is it. We are here, man. We are here. And let me just get one more. I mentioned this one, but gotta get it before I end. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before you fall. And Esau Edom had his pride, um, and now comes his destruction. All right, he's had his haughty spirit, and now it's time for his downfall. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this video was edifying, and as always, our honor, glory, and praises goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makakodash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Until the next time, Shalom.